A lot of credit to Chicago. You know, they played really well. They were the more aggressive team. They were the more physical team, the more active team. Um, you know, they made shots. Uh, they just they played better than us in you know every facet of the game. So, you know, I think uh, frustrating for us to you know not continue to play well. Um, you know, I, I think you know obviously we didn't shoot the ball that well, which you can kind of uh, you know happen some nights. I think the you know the decision making and the crispness of our passing and decision to pass, um, you know, just weren't where it needs to be tonight against a team that's, you know, pretty aggressive defensively. And then, you know, 113 points is a lot. Um, we just weren't very good defensively either. So, you know, uh, but, you know, we'll just, we'll learn from it. We'll look at the film, um, you know, and, and move forward and try and continue to get better. Seems like, you know, you're coming back to off this slow start before team was very and just, you know, you got to be better. Yeah, I mean, I agree and disagree a little bit. You know, I think there was, you know, after that, just very, very poor start. You know, it felt like we kind of gathered ourselves, um, you know, got it back, you know, for sure single digits, six, four, you know, and, and we missed a bunch of free throws in the first quarter. I think if we make some free throws in the first quarter, instead of it being 29-21, it's 29-24 or something like that, maybe we get some more stops. And then we made a one run or two where we got it to 10 or 11 and it felt like we had a chance, but um, we were certainly digging ourselves out of hole all night, no doubt. What made that duo of Lopez and Martin so effective in the paint? Well, you know, we really wanted to take the three-point line away from Markkinen and I guess we won the battle and lost the war. Uh, so, um, you know, that was a huge emphasis to try and, and, and get him to, you know, play, you know, inside the three-point line. and. And then Lopez, you know, I think he was operating with a lot of space because we were giving, you know, so much attention to Markinen and Miritich. And, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's a little bit of, you know, we got to coach better, got to play better, do everything. Um, you know, they were just better than us in, in every way today. Offensively, you all fell in love with the three, but were like unsuccessful making them. Part of game plan or? Um, I mean, we, we've been really emphasizing shooting, um, you know, more threes. We really want to uh, make that a big part of our, um, you know, offense. And, um, you know, I think we were two for 23 at halftime. And I think we went made five or six when that last group came in. And, you know, Luke Babbitt and Josh Majette and Muskie, those guys made a few. And, you know, if we make them, it feels totally different at halftime or at the quarter. So we want to take open shots. And I, I thought, you know, 47 is a lot, but I don't remember us forcing any or, you know, for the most part, I thought they were good shots. Held them to four offensive rebounds. Are you happy with the effort on that side of the court? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think our rebounding has been a lot better. Um, you know, I keep referencing having Miles, having Dwayne, Earsaw, and John. You know, we're just bigger, we're more athletic, we're more physical. So, you know, I think the rebounding, you know, game has kind of flipped in the last, you know, I, I don't know how many games or weeks, but we're in a better place on the boards for sure. All right, thank you guys.